today's video is going to be so 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 special it is like my experience of all these four and a half years you know squeezed into these few minutes so that you if you are just about to fly to belgium or you have just landed here you don't have to go through all those culture shocks that we went through I am Mansi and I am an Indian living in Belgium for about 4 and a half years. If you're new to this channel, hello and welcome. Thanks for stopping by. And if you have been sticking around for quite a while with me, congratulations. We just hit 1000 subscribers. And without any further ado, let's get started into this video. The first culture shock is that the places are very very less crowded. So touching is a big no. That means like in India we have lots of people at any place. So sometimes subconsciously also we touch people by just a brush of shoulders and we consider it very very normal. But here it's a big no. There is lots of space, places are less crowded, so make sure you give an extra effort to respect people's physical boundaries. Second point is that the places are very very quiet. So, that means on the streets you will not hear any honking. Only if it's a crisis situation or an accident situation somebody will honk otherwise not even the cyclists are not supposed to ring those bells. So if you're driving or cycling try to respect those rules do not honk do not ring the bells and because in india we have a habit whenever we go through a square we have to cross the road subconsciously we will always honk so let go of that habit now third point is that you will not find any stray animals stray dogs here on the streets all the animals are domesticated except during the winters we have come across some small foxes which are not harmful but it's always a good idea to maintain distance from them the fourth culture shock that you will face is that the voices in the background will stop being in your local languages which you have heard since your childhood or wherever you are living now they will be replaced by french dutch italian spanish and about english it's slowly catching up but still it's not very popular to hear on the streets so it's not just the language that you hear on the streets or around you also the sign boards whenever you look at any shops or any public places those sign boards will stop to be in english and turn into the language of belgium the saddest culture shock is that you will have to do all your things on your own so that means your cooking cleaning and doing the dishes laundry and also the waste disposal you have to sort and know what are the specific days to dispose specific kind of waste you will have to take care of all these things because as i told you in the previous videos services are very very expensive so everyone does these things on their own which brings me to the next point that you will also have to get used to going to get to do your own groceries because the home delivery culture for groceries is not very common and not very matured here so only the old people who cannot do these things on their own they use those services otherwise there are plenty of supermarkets around the streets in every area so people really go and get their own groceries next point is that it's very common to see people enjoying their drinks or even smoking on in public places like cafes or on the street when walking that is kind of a culture shock there is a very very you know important beer culture here so every cafe next in the street they serve beers people enjoy it with their friends and colleagues and it's very common to watch people let's say on a weekend just enjoying a can of beer in parks or even after this uh, hugely popular beer culture what i have noticed is that people here do all those things in complete moderation which brings me to an important tip as an expat traveler sometimes people just go outside their limits and uh, in their initial days they will be seen enjoying lots of beers and just like there's no tomorrow but in this way they actually put themselves in lots of risks of injuries and accidents and also who said alcohol is good for you so 
that's a tip for expats try to have these things in moderation the eighth point is that people are very very fitness conscious here so according to the season they will change their fitness regimes or they always try to continue what they love like cycling walking running playing any sport so that's something that will also motivate you if you come here so good luck for that journey the next ninth point is maybe naturally that they do not have that pot belly so being in india i used to think that having belly is very very common and it's kind of natural but when i came here i was surprised and kind of jealous to see that people despite drinking and eating and enjoying they do not have that tummy or belly so you will be shocked and maybe again i'll say motivated tenth culture shock is related to food yes the food will be relatively actually a lot bland when you compare with india so you will not get to taste lots of salt and spices in them but the good thing is that this way you get to enjoy the natural texture and taste of things okay. and the 11th point is that uh, breakfast is always sweet things so the croissant lots of uh, pao chocolat they have chocolate variants the pancakes waffles all these things are sweet yet so delicious but rest of the meals are uh, sali or salted and they enjoy lots of salads in their meals 12th point is that it's not popular and also not appreciated to have official and formal communication via whatsapp today in india we almost do lots of things just via whatsapp be it shopkeeper or doctor we all communicate through whatsapp but here they prefer email communication more even than the phone communication so that will be kind of a culture shock for you but that's how things are here and in fact they also prefer sms in case you are you really have an urge or to use whatsapp or contact using phone and ditch the email so sms is acceptable The next culture shocker is that to get a medical appointment you have to wait from anywhere between 15 days to a few months. So adjust accordingly. But having said that this doesn't uh, mean that in emergency you won't be attended. There are emergency areas in all the hospitals so you will be attended in case of emergencies. But for appointments with your specific doctors you have to wait. The 14th culture shocker a pleasant one is that the dressing culture is very powerful elegant and people really give importance to this so if you won't find people like just going out in their t-shirts and pajamas to supermarkets even even if they have to go to supermarkets they'll ensure they are looking nice chiseled and groomed might not be easy for you but here is the 15th culture shocker that uh, it's normal to say no and there is no people pleasing culture so if someone feels like they don't agree or they don't want to join you for a certain thing they will say straight no to your face and that is not rude they will just be being honest with you the next culture shocker is that more than the next friday movie release people here eagerly wait for the next artist's performance to be released so they may have various tastes like the ballet or uh, some theater or any artist and they really look forward to attend those things next culture shocker is that except in crowded places in cities where there are relatively more people otherwise it's very normal to say a uh, good morning good morning or bonjour to people who cross by you in the street so you don't have to run your eyes away but really look to them and greet them 18th point no 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 littering is not at all acceptable if you are caught littering there are heavy fines and people really take care of their surroundings and their houses and keep them super duper clean which brings me to a very important point as expats uh, people think that because they are not here for long they are living temporarily they don't have any idea how long they are living they do not invest time to find out how their waste has to be segregated and disposed properly they take shortcuts and do not even make efforts to buy the proper garbage bags so it's a humble request 
invest some time find out in your commune what are the days how the waste has to be segregated and contribute to keep the place and such a beautiful country always beautiful that's your duty as an expat the next culture shocker is that uh, whenever you go into public transport be it a metro or a train it's normal to give your place to elderly people and pregnant ladies 21th very important point is that keep your rental house and uh, apartment very very clean so in you know in for your different needs you need different cleaners and your owners will always suggest example a special cleaner to remove the molds which is a very common problem especially in brussels uh, lime scale remover because the water is hard special cleaners to clean the dishwasher itself special cleaner to clean the washing machine itself if you ignore these things it cannot be a problem for you but at the end it will definitely come back to haunt you because the owners will be very easily able to find it out that you haven't taken care of your place so well 22nd culture shocker is that there will be alarm when you make your favorite parathas that means fire alarms are a mandate here in all the apartments and usually they are somewhere near the kitchen so and even in studio apartments it gets very very tricky because the space is little and whenever you cook something which releases lots of smoke the fire alarm rings up so take special care of that thing 23rd strikes and demonstrations are very common doesn't mean that they happen weekly but very often you will come to know about the news that for so and so reason there's a huge demonstration or a strike and why i'm telling you is that those days the public transport will be hugely impacted 24th point is that there is a very very nice walking culture because there is infrastructure wherever you go there will be well paved footpaths so people prefer to enjoy the walks even to go and do their groceries they prefer to walk rather than taking their cars and mind you that doesn't mean at all that it is something to do with financial status no even if a person is really well to do and has the best of the cars they will not like to use it for just a few kilometers and they always prefer to walk 25th a very pleasant culture shocker is that priority is given a lot to the pedestrians on road so if you're crossing a road properly using the zebra crossing cars and vehicles will stop by to give you way except your uh, light signal as a pedestrian is turned red if even if it's not there you're crossing the road you will be treated with good and huge respect which you will enjoy 26th culture shocker very important is that the public transports operate in the honor system that means if you board a bus you will not find a ticket checker coming to you and checking that you bought the ticket or not they trust you and they expect you to honor the system and swipe your card or buy the ticket and then board the bus or metro or train that doesn't mean that they will never check there are random checkings and if you are caught then i already tell you you will end up paying heavy fine so always buy your tickets even if no one is checking you never know when you can get caught and have a sour experience which also brings me to a next very interesting point about the traffic police unlike on different squares in india we have a traffic police here you will not find traffic police people know the rules they go through certain driving exams and they know and they follow things that doesn't mean that the police doesn't exist they are there they will be patrolling and if you are caught without driving uh, license or doing something wrong then you will end up in huge trouble so do not misuse that system that uh, the traffic police is not there they are not checking there are cameras and there are heavy fines if you cross your lines and do not think that you can buy your way through these things you can end up paying fines no your records even about fines are centralized somewhere so they will know you have paid n number of fines 
if they are a lot trust me this will impact your pr process when you want to get your permanent resident uh, residency or even your citizenship so behave last but not the least this is europe a popular tourist destination lots of people from different places come here theft and pickpocketing is very very common so always be aware especially in your starting days because people recognize that you haven't been staying here for long and you are in awe of the place and discovering and there are so many thieves and pickpockets sometimes even i've heard reports uh, that uh, in indian houses they break into the houses as well because they know for a fact that we have gold jewelry in india so they think that even we bring them here also so take special care of your security at home plus on the street when you are walking when you are taking public transport uh, don't be be always aware of your phone your belonging your you know wallet in your pocket so that you do not have to regret especially take care in your initial office days when you carry your laptop bag with you in public transport because the moment you leave it and uh, you know uh, avoid looking at it and get unconscious Lee, you know, focused somewhere else. Your bag will be gone. This has happened with lots of my colleagues. So that's the tip I'll give you. Also, people split all the expenses and they're not shy about it. When you go to the supermarket, remember to read the food ingredients very, very well because there is no separate sign between veg and non-veg, except some brands preferring halal and vegan labels now. Toilets are not free. Even if you go to Burger King or McDonald's, places like this also charge for using toilets. There'll always be a person sitting inside, and they'll charge anywhere from fifty cents to one euro for it. And of course, right is right. That means people drive on the right side of the road. Well, that was the video, and here is the conclusion from me. You might come as an expat here temporarily, but always remember when you come here. you are not just representing yourself or your family but you are representing your country millions of people who live in your country and just if you leave this country when you come and go that will not you know make people forget here how people from your country are like that image always stays and even after you go for generations and that it impacts the whole community wherever you come from so be a responsible expat respect the rules here and try to integrate peacefully so guys this is my homework i did just to prepare this video for you and lots of homework will happen after shooting this video we me and ashu have to invest a lot of time in editing so i request you if you like this video and you found it helpful please give this video a thumbs up keep on supporting the channel drop your motivational comments or any questions if you have i will be very happy to help you out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet or you are new to this place i'm sure you will enjoy the upcoming videos as well because we love to make videos for you so stay tuned i'll see you next time till then bye bye